we have 20.1 CrossFit Open 20.1 it is 10 rounds of 8 snatches at 43 kilograms 95 pounds and then I don't know I'm talking about that and then 10, 10 bar facing burpees this one was a very hard workout obviously a lot of people will be looking at Rich Froning and they've got Scott Panchik in, in the Rogue announcement and thinking oh yeah Rich Froning looks alright I'm going to stick to a minute um, for each round I thought that didn't do that at the end let's turn this down so starting off I was aiming for 75 seconds for one round on the first round I didn't stick to that I um, did I think I did like 48 seconds which was um, looking back it's quite good because then Mark came from the camera um, you're not really holding back on the first one because imagine if you held back on the first one you're still kind of going to be still kind of going to be fucked in the end so you might as well give it a little bit at the start to then save it not so then later on you're not like oh I just wish I could make up some time instead of resting at the start you know you should never rest at the start of one in my opinion because you're going to regret it later so with the bar facing burpees you have to jump up I mean, you have to jump with two feet. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, you're not jumping with two feet. Go and watch Rich Froning's um, 20.1 that he's jumping with two feet. Because I, I, the way I do my bar facing burpees, I stagger my legs. That's how I build my momentum to jump, jump over the bar. Um, snatch is pretty good. Only thing from all my, literally all of my snatches, <coughs> um, I'm always jumping backwards or like you see my feet are coming off the floor every single snatch. And... That's something I need to work on to get that barbell cycle a bit quicker. That might um, take off one second off. No, one second. It might just save me energy on my all, all my snatches. Burpees again. <coughs> With these burpees, a lot of people when they're in training, they don't practice different movements. So if you're in a habit of you're always using right leg, when you get to a workout, you don't know if you should use left or right leg. When I use my left leg, I go really fast. You'll see in it like I think round two or three, I use my left leg a few times, but I just couldn't um, slow down my pace on my left leg. Because I felt like my hamstring and my, and my hip flexor and my right leg was all was getting bent out later on into the workouts, which obviously which obviously isn't good. There I wasn't being a dick compared to everyone else. <clears throat> my people will be oh, I didn't touch the bar. You literally saw the bar spin as I jumped over. So I walked back and did another burpee over, or burpee over the bar and back onto the snatches. <clears throat> and that can be like just getting tired, not be, not thinking about bringing legs up, and I didn't want to people to look well. You just stick to the rules. Like if someone tells you not to touch the bar when you're doing a bar face and burpee, if you do it, you obviously don't do it on purpose. You go back and do another rep. Um, burpees are all right. I felt pretty good. This is my hamstring, my hip flex, and my right leg were just blowing up because I can't. If I, I can do them on my left leg, but I go too fast, which is weird. And um, I just, I'll, I just end up blowing up in the end. So you probably see soon. Yeah, left leg. I got it's really fast compared to my right leg. I like jump up and straight away jump over the bar. So like if I was in a sprint or like a yeah kind of like a sprint email, I'd be doing my left leg a lot. But obviously in a workout where you got hundred bar bar facing burpees, you're not going to be you're going to look at the cumulative reps added up. Not just oh it's only ten reps, it's ten times ten. Snatch is look, looking okay again. For this workout, it's more of a pacing from the start. Obviously you're going to be fast when your first round and your second round. You're going to then you're gonna slow down after the two rounds. So kind of, I kind of had that in mind. Um, but obviously, not thinking I go that fast on the round. It's one and two. And with this, um, a lot of people when they do workouts, they put water next to their side. I've seen people during class and in past times of doing workouts. The amount of time you're wasting just by having a little drink of water. That um, Ian will count that I did eight reps, but it was only six, so I did an extra two. Um, a lot of people will waste time um, going for a drink. That little drip of, drop of water is not going to make you push another 10 seconds, so why take 10, 20 seconds off your total time? Just suck it up and just get through the workout. And this this can be for all workouts, not just the open. Like in general, if you imagine if you're getting a drink one to three times in a session, that's 30 seconds you're definitely going to knock off. Because no one gets a drink and goes straight back into the to whatever they're doing. So, uh, something to consider into the rest of your workouts.
and we're set. I don't even know what round this is now. Uh, I think this is round four or five. Most likely four. <coughs> With the burpees, I feel like I could have um, reduced my heart rate by standing up a bit higher. Because as soon as I jump over, you see it, I jump over and I go straight into the burpee. Whereas if I was to jump over, stand up, stand up right a bit more, be able to take my time to get oxygen into my lungs so I can bring my heart rate down. <coughs> and I've also got Frank off. My throat has been absolutely vile since finishing this ward. And I trained after this, which uh, is alright. Get the chalk, mate. Because <coughs> I thought I wouldn't be able to do anything after this, but I was feeling okay. I might read a bit, I might not. Depends if I feel like I'm doing that pain cave again. And also, like, probably would have wasted about 10 to 20 seconds from, not wasted, but I could have cut down from just kneeling over on my um, knees. Obviously, in the moment, you sometimes can't stop it, but it's having a discipline to not do that. <clears throat> I tried to not do it too much, but when I was really dying, I kind of had to do it. Otherwise, I'd have just dropped to the floor. And when I when I dropped the ball like that, that's when I know, I know I'm like finished, like in that cave of dying. <coughs> Their piece okay. I think I only choked up twice. I don't think I really needed to choke up at all because my grip my grip's strong enough. It's just fatigued. And when, when you're in the moment, you're like, oh, I need choke, but you don't really need choke. That's the only point where I kind of stopped on my baby, which is good. I would have added a lot more seconds into my total time for the workout. Look, I've seen mm, a lot of people will spend a lot of time sitting down in the bottom of the baby. It's better to just move slower so you're constantly kind of taking down reps without instead of stopping. Because if you imagine if you take off five seconds of your burpees, you could be sitting on the bottom of a burpee for two seconds, that's 10 seconds. So that's minus five seconds in total. There's nothing wrong with me, I was just kind of fucked. <laughs> Twos, I thought I'd be able to do unbroken sets on every single round, unfortunately I didn't. Did a two, a three, and a three here. <coughs> Good in this workout, I kind of picked the bar up straight away. Because literally, the atmosphere, this is the best atmosphere I've ever had doing a workout. Everyone at CrossFit Rotherham today was absolutely amazing. Everyone pushing each other, not just me, everyone else doing, doing the one in class. And that's the kind of environment you want in class. You don't want this sort of neg negative vibe where people are looking, oh, he's not doing so well. That's, where, that's the time where everyone needs to push together to kind of build, build as a community to push each other. At the end of the day, we're all there to get fit. Fitter, sorry. To get fitter than we, we started off. And having people around like for me today that was that was probably the best workout i've ever done just having people shouting shouting saying come on you need to pick it up for me that's a big push all all the time i spent on my own training when it comes to like actual game day when you've got people that will want to support you shouting at you wanting to push you for me it's like a it's just it's just amazing that people willing to push you into that pain cave i quite enjoyed it At this moment, I think it's round, probably most probably round eight, I think. Seven fifty, I'm on. So kind of fast. That's this is probably round seven, not round eight. I ain't that fast. You mom too, not me. For me, I tried. I tried to rest during the snatches and before the snatches, because bear peas were fine for me. I just didn't want to stop on the bear peas or kind of re go really slow where you've seen a lot of people on videos on Instagram and YouTube well, no, mostly Instagram where people drop to the floor and having to crawl up to get back over the bar I'd rather take my time to rest on before the snatches so once I finished each burpees I would rest for about two to four seconds to get my heart rate down to get my breathing right to get back onto the bar to snatch so the majority of my burpees were on my right leg because I'm used I can go at a slower pace on my right leg for a lot of people, that they've probably never done with the left leg, so they it's more of a mental thing to think about doing the burpee with the left leg. For me, I could go faster with my left leg. I just didn't want to, because I would have bent out so much easier. I literally had Liam screaming in my head all the time. Come on, Phil, show me what you got. He pushed me. Probably he probably pushed me to the to the limit today. I don't want chalk, mate. <laughs> And the problem with this video is um, my battery is on 48% on my camera. So legit, as I jump over, the, the camera cuts off. 
So any any of the weird people that want to say I didn't do it, tough luck. I did do it. I did it in 11, 16, which I'm happy about. Early on, my end with the snatches. <coughs> AKA, which one? I think this is round nine. No, round eight, sorry. So I think this is one more round after this. No, it can't be. Well, I, I really don't know. Must be. This is round nine. Let's click this. Nah. I think after this, I rolled on the. I was on the floor for like two minutes. And this, at this point, I was literally when you're in a deep, when you're deep into a wad and you just can't feel anything, you're just going and going and going. This is what this workout's gonna feel like. Round eight, nine, and ten. Round ten, you're gonna feel nothing. You just gotta go. <laughs> for this workout, I probably got it got real at like round. <laughs> I'll put the volume on. Everyone's screaming right now. The this uh, round five, we probably when it hit me around four or five, and I was like, shit. I'm actually gonna have to push like really early. I'll just not push, but hold on, really early. And I think this is yeah, the last four reps. At this point, my grip had gone. I was just gripping and ripping, gripping and ripping. These freakishly long spider arms. Last ten burpees were absolute finesse. I tried. It felt like I was going faster than this, but look at that. Looking at the camera, I was going quite fast, but I've seen a guy, a Brazilian guy, Yui, he was literally sprinting. I can't believe he was in his uh, workout. This is an absolute sprint finish. Couldn't even feel anything, just going. I didn't even care what time, even what the clock was saying, I was sprinting. This is where it puts out on this last one. 15. As I'm jumping up, it's 15, so. Obviously, I'm going to jump over and get 16. Unfortunately, I didn't get to capture the rest of this because it would have been funny. Me crawling or was lying on the floor like a dead fish. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. It was immense. I might do a redo, I might not. Depends if I can go in the pain cave again. But I'll be recording 20.2, which will be coming out obviously next Friday, UK time. So look forward to me dying in the next workout. See ya.